Hey guys, it's Brian. We're back here at the Frostbite JL, and on today's video, we're going to be going off-roading again. For this trip, we went to Tahuya OHV Park. It's just west of Seattle a little ways. It's not too bad. It's a pretty cool little trail system. We did take my Jeep on the 2.5-inch metal cloak with the 35-inch Nitto Ridge Grapplers. We also went with my brother-in-law Chase's new JL. He has a Rubicon on the Mopar 2-inch lift with the same tires but in 37s. So it would be kind of cool to watch the Rubicon and the Sport side by side with similar setups and see which one did better. Go ahead and stay tuned until the end of the video and I'll let you know which one did. Alright guys, we're going to air down both Jeeps and head off to the trail. Alright, we're going to head from the staging area, just across the street to the first trail. We did have to try to find a flat spot to get the Rubicon sway bars disconnected. He finally was able to. Alright, so this first trail is going to be called Tahuya 84N. We're going to be following this Toyota for a little bit. It's got a pretty sweet setup with the flatbed. It was kind of fun to watch. These trails definitely have a lot of water on them. You definitely want to be prepared to get a little muddy. It was also a little crowded when we went. We went on a Sunday. We want to make sure you watch out for all the ATV riders. We're like dual cameras. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. We happen upon this little optional hill climb. We're going to save that for another day. This is a good first gear. head on over to this really wet area with lots of mud puddles. It's kind of a little playground you can go ahead and blast through puddles. We had a lot of fun here.
just doing just a little bumper chop on the side of the trail. And like a quick trail mod. And just like that, there's a stubby bumper on the edge of the trail. Chase was definitely rubbing pretty hard on that front bumper. If you guys have the optional metal bumper, you might want to go ahead and take it off before you go out wheeling for the first time. All right, after playing in the mud a little bit, we're gonna head up the trail to continue on 84N, heading south. It was definitely pretty fun watching both jeeps kind of wind through the trees and go through the small mud puddles. I definitely like this part of the trail. Nice man. Hey. Yeah. Alright, these guys on the left are doing one of the optional hill climbs in the area. You definitely need a pretty built rig to tackle that one. It was kind of fun to watch them. So this is going to be where the trail splits a little bit. You can continue to the left on 84N or go to the right like we did. We're going to go down JBX that heads down south to the connecting trails we want to go to. Throughout the Tuhuya area, there's a lot of these trails that have railings off to the side. They're kind of interesting, but it also makes it kind of cool while you're rolling through them.
these trails aren't too difficult. They definitely are fun though. You could probably tackle this on a mostly stock rig. We did hear about one stock JK that did get stuck for a couple hours on a couple of these trails. So you definitely want to be prepared and not go alone. This is a little opportunity to do a little flex check on the stump here. Alright, this is going to be the start of 84S. This will take you south to the lower trails. This one does have some optional side areas where you can go ahead and test the flex on your rig. We'll take advantage of that here in a second. It's hard to tell on the video, but these are definitely some sizable holes. It was really fun to watch the metal coke lift at work. So this area is going to be the end of our next trail. It's got some areas where you can kind of play around and test your flex. We're going to take full advantage of that. I am pretty impressed with that Mopar lift for having all factory control arms except for the front lowers which he has Clayton's it did have quite a bit of flex in the rear. So now we're starting on the southern loop trail. This one was definitely one of my favorite had lots of tight obstacles, water, rocks, and also some pretty cool puddles towards the end. definitely get a little flexy through this section. You might have noticed the squeaking coming from the Rubicon. It's uh, his lower control arms are rubbing on his shock bolts. The shop that installed them didn't check clearance, so he'll need to fix that in the future. This definitely is a really scenic trail. 
and some of the best parts are yet to come. This last puddle was definitely my favorite. It does get a little deep off to the left, so you want to be real careful if you're in a stock rig. Alright guys, that's going to do it for Tahuya OHV Park. We'll definitely be back. It was a pretty fun trail system, and we have more trails to check out. All right, guys, thanks for checking out our wheeling video. We had a fun day going through all those uh, big mud holes. There was some tight trails that were pretty fun. There was also some rocky hill climbs, so definitely moderate trails. Both Jeeps did great. I think the Rubicon did better with some of the hill climbs, just with the low range. He did have trouble unhooking his sway bars at the beginning and reconnecting them at the end. So that was something that's a little different with the Rubicon. Didn't have to worry about that because I've got the manual ones. And then my metal cloak clit had quite a bit of flex. So going through some of the difficult optional side trails and stuff, this did great. It flexed out a lot. So all in all, I think both Jeeps did great. All depends on what you're doing. You're doing hardcore wheeling, Rubicon's probably the way to go. Uh, but for what we were doing, Sport did well too. I do have the limited slip in the back and that helps. So thanks guys for checking out this wheeling video, there'll be more to come, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and go ahead and check out my Amazon store if you want, you can buy some stuff through there, it helps out the channel. Alright, thanks guys, we'll see you next time.